Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Airline Reviews, and we are going to do a new video on the five gallon self watering buckets, as you can see here. Quick example, and I'm going to show you how to put these together. And the last video I made, it seems like a lot of people have a lot of questions and maybe they don't understand the dimensions. So I need to cover this again and kind of cover areas where maybe I didn't explain myself enough or I didn't show enough detail. So this next video is going to be rather detailed. I don't know any other way for me to do a video like this without really, really getting into the detail and have it be short at the same time. Also wanted to point out too, there's some updates in here and some of the updates are going to include these cups. For example, these have been a big problem for people. I don't know what to do because they don't know what this is or how I made it exactly. So we're gonna substitute that with say this. So there's gonna be some updates and we really need to go over some of those details. So let's get into it and let's talk about the measurements and the new updates. Okay, so let's first talk about the, the new updates and everything associated with this. First thing we want to talk about is the pail really quickly. I just want to point out to you, the pails are slightly different. The newer pails that you're going to buy from Lowe's, I'm using Lowe's pails. You probably same thing with Home Depot. They probably all updated their pail. The old ones had really thin, cheap little lips here that were supported the very top of it. They really beefed them up now and they really made these lips very strong so they can support. And there's so many advantages to them doing that now because this is actually structurally stronger. So you could probably remove those handles, take a giant piece of plywood if you want, and then drill holes in it. So these literally sit on top of it. And so you would just literally have that pail. And there's so many options with that design that they did this. A really good thing that Lowe's uh, decided to go with that pail or maybe a different company altogether. And they also updated the... The lids, they're a little bit different plastic. It's a little bit harder, stiffer, stronger. I don't know if that's good or bad, but that's what they are. And so maybe these lids might be a little bit more UV resistant. I don't know. While I'm here, let's just talk about the top really quick. This is your top mulch. The reason why I use the top mulch is because I have squirrels, chipmunks, mice, rabbits, and everything else that like to get into my pail and just start digging all the dirt out of my pails, uprooting my plants. I've had it so bad where I've had my plants literally dug out of my pails and laying on the side of the ground in the sunlight, cooking and killing my plants. And uh, I've been through that. And so I needed to come up with a solution and I've tried several things but this thing works the best to keep the chipmunks out of my pail as you could see it's just landscape fabric that's held down by the lid if you don't have the lids anymore these rings then you can use string to hold it down but you need to have some kind of fabric or something on top of this surface to prevent the animals from going in there and digging up your plants so you have to do that if you have squirrels and chipmunks so that's all it is. We'll talk about how we put it together on part two. There's going to be part one. We're going to do a part two. The reason for that is it's just too much to cover in one video. It's just a lot, guys. So anyway, let's start off with the pail. Here's your pail. And the first thing you want to do is grab your pail and you want to make your hole right about here. The hole is approximately three inches to the center of that hole. The hole itself is a little bit bigger than a half inch and maybe a five eighths inch hole. You want to make this hole sort of not too big, but big enough for you to slip in a piece of half inch PEX tubing. And the reason why you want to put the PEX in here, if you could, I, I've done it years without PEX and I'm going back to putting PEX back in here. Uh, the reason why you want to put a piece of tubing in here is if you don't do that, you're going to end up with something like this. Not a big deal, but it doesn't look pretty and it's unsightly. So you're going to end up with that if you don't use PEX. So it's just going to dribble out and then it's going to cause this unsightly rundown and it's just not going to look nice, right? So we put the PEX in there and that eliminates it. However, when you put PEX inside here, that PEX has to be perfectly straight. If you tilt it in either direction, up or down, it's going to start raising the water level in here and you don't want to raise that water level because if you do and it raises too high, it's going to cause that air gap between the bottom of your plate and the uh, top of that water to get too shallow and then it's going to start to swamp out the bottom of that pail. You don't want that to be too wet and over wet. Generally you want your plate to be something like something like that, right? That's what you want your plate as. You want that you want to be about an inch, inch and a half air gap on it. Here's the here's the piece. Okay, so that's what you want. That's about what your air gap is. And that's roughly about an inch to an inch and a half. 
You can go two inches with the air gap if you want. You can make these a little smaller. However, you'll see why none of the other dimensions are going to work if you're going to use some of this other stuff. So that is the size, that's the size of your hole, that's the height of your hole, and that's really the only thing you need to prepare on the pail side, right? So that is that. Now, the next thing you need to do is we need to figure out how the inside of the bottom of this thing works. Now, a lot of people don't seem to understand what I was doing here with the, the cups you can buy from, you know, when you buy your iced teas and your sodas from like the, uh, you know, the the, uh, the gas stations or any of the convenience stores, you get these large slurpy cups or whatever you want to call these things. I was getting these from uh, uh, Sheets, and I'd buy, like, one large iced tea, and then I would literally put, like, four cups underneath it, and I would do that every, you know, once, once twice a week, and I ended up with plenty of cups to literally do 80 of my pails. So... I was able to literally save hundreds, if not even thousands of dollars in the long run because of what I did. However, it doesn't seem like anybody can figure that part out, even though I explained it several times. I need to provide something that's a little bit easier for some people. So we're going to go with the piece of four inch. So being we're trying to keep it simple, you can use four inch pipe if you want and cut it down to size. That's fine. You can just go to the store and buy yourself a PVC, 4-inch PVC coupling. And that's already cut for you. And all you have to do is buy the coupling and stick it on the inside of the pail. However, this coupling could cost anywhere between $5 and $10 a piece. As you can see, I have like 80 of those things. And you figure out the math from there. So $5 to $10 a piece, that gets quite expensive. So by me eliminating that one little thing, I save a few bucks, right? But... Just for the sake of the video, to make it easy, we're just going to show you the quick and simple way to do this. And so what we want to do is we want to get one of these couplings. We want to put, cut our four pieces. These are four inches long. Hope you can see it because I can't see a thing on my screen. It's so bleached out from the sun. Can't see a thing. They're four inches long. These are about three and three quarters. So these are a little bit, um, they're a little shorter, but that's not a big deal. I'll, I'll show you why in a minute. So you're going to want to make sure you cut them. And that's what it's going to look like on the inside of your, your uh, five-gallon pail. It'll look like that. I, if I put it in there and try to film it, you're not going to see it. So I have to do it on the outside here so you can physically see it. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like on the inside. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is take your bottom okay and you're going to want to put that in the bottom like so right that's what it'll look like there and then of course you got to take your wicking cup you could use whatever you want for a wicking cup again i was using these soda cups it seems like it's too complicated for people so I, i'm not sure if i want to show you how to actually make these wicking cups because it's 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 a 20 minute to an hour video just to show you how to make these wicking cups because no matter how many times i try to quickly explain it it doesn't get through and so it just leads to another video another video and i don't have the time anymore all right so we take our wicking cup whatever you want to use you want to buy those hydro those what do you call those uh uh, hydroponics uh, they sell like wicking cups for hydroponics you could probably use that that's fine I, I don't have any of those and um, this is all I have right so I make up my wicking cup like that put that in there that's how that's gonna sit just like that so this is what it basically looks like that's pretty much your nuts and bolts right here it's just gonna look just like that on the inside this is just a, a piece of landscape fabric. You just cut an X in the middle. It'll fit itself. Same thing with the, uh, the hole for the, for the overfill or the fill tube. You just want to put that in there, right? I'm not going to press it down, but you put it in there. Take your overfill tube. That goes in here like this. And basically, I stick my overfill tube directly into one of these tubes. And then I drill a hole in the bottom of those tubes. And that way, uh, when it's in there... Uh, it has a way to drain out, and um, it keeps the water from going in there too quickly and causing a surge where the water starts pouring out of here before you could fill it. So a way I dealt with eliminating that was dropping it down so it drops into one of these tubes, drill a couple holes on the bottom, and then it prevents that over surge of water from pouring out of there. The size of this tube is 24 inches. This is three quarter inch diameter. You can go with one inch if you want. You could go with four inch if you want, but that's a waste of space. 
I go with a three quarter inch tube because that is what I have laying around and I'm using what I got. The other thing you wanna do is cut a 45 at the bottom of the tube like that. It doesn't matter. People are asking me about the angle of that. Guys, it doesn't matter. You just need to cut a little wedge on the bottom. You can't stick the bottom of the tube flat to the bottom of the pail like this. You can't do that. It has to be like that. So that's what it is. You can make these a little shorter if you want. These are 24 inches. 24 inches is going to look something like this. Uh, you can take off about a good 6 inches if you want. Make them uh, 18 inches long if you want. Whatever you want to do. I keep them longer because I use them to help tie down the... Tie everything down to it. Now, talk about this really quick. This is nothing more than a 3 and... Uh, I forgot what I said that was. That hole is a three and a quarter inch hole. Generally, it has eight holes in it. They just stagger from each other. You can fill them any way you want. You don't have to do them that way. You can just basically copy what I got. How's that? And you got your hole here for your fill tube, right? That's, that hole is for your tube here, right? Goes into your thing. Hopefully we got that part. And then these holes are basically half inch diameter holes they could be three eighths be whatever you want guys generally you're going to go like this you're going to grab your little dingy dingy in the middle right just to show you that really quick right that's how it goes right then you're going to take your things like this i have to do it this way guys because i literally get asked for what i'm showing you right now i literally get asked over and over i get to the point where i actually started removing the comments because it's just it literally just gets to you okay here we go now I'm going to zoom in, zoom out, there you go. Okay, that's what it looks like on the inside before we put our lid down. Then when you're ready, you put your lid down like this. Yay! Here we go, here's our lid there, right there, guys, right? You see that? Isn't that amazing? That's the lid right there. Got your four inch in the middle. Now you're going to take your, your cloth, right? Uh, I like to take my cloth like this, poke my hole. I like to put my tube right in it right away, drop that right in a hole. All right, so there it is. I generally get that lined up, and I just stick my thing in there like that, right? You can use whatever you want for a wicking cup. This is what I use. Um, and that's what it looks like on the inside, and that's it. And then you just put your dirt in there, you know, just make sure that you keep this up against the side. I am looking to make a ring that actually goes in here that expands out and keeps this in place while I'm filling it. So I'm considering making an inner ring that locks that in. And uh, just to uh, make it easier for me when I fill it, because if not, I literally got to hold this up like this while I fill it so the dirt doesn't go in there, right? So we want to get the dirt as tight to this as possible, and the ring seals it. I, I'm considering doing that. I just don't know how I'm going to get a ring right now, and I just don't have the time to fool around with this stuff. Um, all right, so that's what it looks like. And basically from there, you have your top cloth. Of course, you're going to have this. It's This is basically a mirror image of that cloth down there. Except this one we trim back. Just gonna slide it over your thing like that. It's a little hard to do with one hand, guys. Just gotta be patient with me, okay? Okay. So it you can see this is all set up from last week. And that's what you take your thing, you put it on like that, just sit it there, da da da. And you just pop it on, guys. It's just simple as that. I mean there's nothing nothing complicated about this. See? Pull it taunt. One hand I could do this. One hand and, and, and it works great. Now you can see the lid. These lids are shot. They're gone. They're, they're already had their... They're done. I mean, I'll get one more season out of them, but after that, most of these most of these rings are going to be gone. So I either have to replace the rings or what I'm going to end up doing is... Um, I'm just going to have to tie this down with either bungee cords or some kind of rubber strap but that's basically what it's going to look like i did that with one hand guys it's actually not hard to do at all you just need to understand what you're doing when you're putting it together it's not complicated it's just complicated to try to explain and try to cram that whole thing into a 10 minute video that's where the complications begin but i did my best what i'll do is a part two and then in part two i'll show you how i fill it i'm gonna i'm gonna actually do a whole build for you i'm actually gonna drill it. i'm gonna Measure it, drill it. Every part of that video is going to be shown. I'm going to show you how I measure it, how I drill it, and everything. Again, it's going to be a 40-minute to an hour video. There's no way I'm going to be able to film all of this and do all of this in 15 minutes. I'm sorry. It just doesn't work like that. 
my system takes time for me to record the details that people are asking about and it's just no way it's happening in 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 a, in a uh, 15 minute video so you'll see it in part two we'll, we'll do a complete build and we'll actually fill it with soil and then we'll do we'll plant something we'll start getting some of these plants in and in that pail and uh, set up so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you on the next one take care